Hey, there you are. Little earlier than you're used to waking up, huh? <laughs> I was worried you weren't going to show up at all. I know, I know. I should have had faith. But hey, I brought that bread I said I'd bake. Rosemary and chive bread. Toasted, with butter, of course. I brought some jam, too. I know it sounds weird to put fruit jam on a savory bread, but it's actually pretty good. Here. I set up a blanket in the back of the garden. Let's head over there, okay? Wow! You brought the tea after all. I wasn't sure if it was going to be too much of a burden or not. Well, I mean... It's a lot easier to carry around a loaf of bread than it is to bring liquid, you know? The thermos was a good idea. Hey, you didn't happen to bring... Uh, milk and honey! Perfect! You read my mind! Sorry. I'm a total softie about... most things. I'll always take my coffee with more milk and sugar than coffee, and I feel the same way about tea. Is that weird? I know it's not very manly of me, although I guess someone who grew up on a flower farm shouldn't be that concerned about how manly they act. <laughs> I know way too much about roses and peonies and violets to be a macho man. But, in my defense, our flowers are the most beautiful. Speaking of, I actually brought some seeds with me from back home. No, I didn't travel all the way down to the valley just for these. I actually brought them with me when I moved here. I guess I had a feeling I'd need them, and it turns out I was right. I brought some sunflower seeds, like I talked about yesterday, and some marigolds and lavender. All of them are pretty low maintenance, and they may even pop up again next year. Plus, I love making things out of lavender, and not enough people think about what a good flavor it has. Okay, okay, no more flower talk. Let's talk about something else, okay? <coughs> Why I moved to the city. What makes you... Ah. I did say I'd talk about that today, didn't I? <laughs> um... Maybe I was feeling extra brave yesterday. I don't know if I feel comfortable talking about it right now. Uh, do you mind? I hope that's not rude or anything. Thanks. It's just... not a fun story. That's all. Everyone has a past. Some are just easier to digest than others. Ah... Uh, I'm making way too big of a deal out of this. It's... It's nothing, okay? Sorry. Here, try the bread. It has homemade strawberry jam on it. Jam isn't too hard to make. Actually, we'll be able to make all kinds of jam once we can harvest the garden. Even the tomatoes you were working on yesterday could make a good jam. <laughs> yep, tomato jam is a thing. And a lot of people like it. Let's try it together sometime, okay? Okay. I know I said I wouldn't talk about flowers anymore, and I promise I won't. But I do have a suggestion about the garden. 
we should add in some pollinator plants. I didn't see any on the way in here, so I guess they must have died off or were overtaken by weeds. Rue is a great medicinal herb that attracts butterflies, but we'll have to be extra careful about where we put it. It can't be anywhere near basil, or they'll make each other grow slower. There's a lot of interactions like that. I already talked about fennel and herbs yesterday, but you also can't put cabbage next to strawberries, or sage next to cucumbers. Ah. <sighs> Whenever I learn more about gardening or farming, it makes me thankful for the people we learned this from. Think about all the generations of farmers that came before us, who tried things like putting cabbage next to strawberries and found out that it wasn't a good idea at all. If you think about it, all the knowledge of what not to do that we have was because someone made a mistake and was wise enough to write it down. I think about that pretty often, actually. I make mistakes all the time. Big ones, sometimes. I think if I were a stronger person, I'd be able to turn them into good things more often. Learning experiences, things like that. But, instead, I usually let my mistakes fester until they're an even bigger problem than they were before. Gardening is a pretty good way to forget about that, though. Seeing all of your work pay off, being able to share what you grow with other people. It's a special thing. I'm so excited for our hard work to pay off, and then everyone in our community will be able to enjoy this space. Plus, think of all the fresh vegetables we'll be able to donate. Every city should have a community garden. Actually, it should have a lot of community gardens, don't you think? Uh, the trouble is, is that it's a lot of hard work. And that's not easy to sell people on. But hey, I think you and I make a really good team. We'll be able to tackle this no problem. As long as you don't get tired of me talking your ear off, I guess. <laughs> uh, although, if I do talk too much, you can always let me know. Sometimes I get started on a topic and I forget that not everyone's as interested in the same things that I am. You haven't made me feel like that at all, though. It's actually really nice. I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. Same time tomorrow? <laughs> cool. I'll see you then. Did you enjoy the audio? If so, please don't forget to leave a like and make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll never miss an upcoming video and we can keep working together. To access our exclusive content aimed at adult listeners only, please go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash Celestera. If you want to commission your very own custom audio, you can visit our website at anagomi.com slash commissions.